joined now by Logan Webb, uh, ace of the San Francisco Giants rotation, whom we're doing the workout right now. I think you did a bullpen as well. Can you talk to a little, a little bit about what it is that pitchers do during their off days when they're not pitching that day? Yeah, I think uh, you know everyone's got a little different routine. Some guys like to long toss. Uh, you know, you watch a guy like Doval, he'll go out to I don't know three quarters of the way into the outfield. It's crazy, but uh, yeah, I think uh, you always pick a day to work out. Um, you know, have some days where you throw a little harder. Uh, I had a bullpen day today. I do, usually do that third day in between. So uh, everyone's pretty pretty different, to be honest with you. Um, but I think everyone has a. If you're, I feel like if you're in, in the big leagues, you got a pretty good routine. Logan, how important it is for you to also in that five day span mix in some rest? Oh, it's yeah, it's very important. Um, you know, I I'm a big proponent of uh, day after you throw, not doing anything. Uh, no throwing the ball, kind of just kind of a recovery day, uh, making sure you're getting the massage in and, and, and hopefully sleeping a lot that night. So, uh, uh, but yeah, it's recovery is probably the most important thing. Um, you know, sometimes it's hard if you're traveling and stuff, but uh, you gotta. I feel like the more you do it, the more you understand the days that you need, days that you uh, need to take off, and days that you can go a little heavier. It was a 194 strikeout season for you last time out. And then you also had one uh, more than 150 strikeouts the last three seasons. How much pride do you take in uh, striking out batters? <laughs> I wish, I, honestly, I wish I struck out a little bit more batters. Uh, <laughs> but kind of the uh, nature of how I throw, right? I throw a lot of sinkers, a lot of change-ups. And uh, for me, it's really about trying to get get the guys out in three pitches or less. Um, you know, I. Um, you know, one of my favorite guys to watch is, is Sandy over there. Uh, he's and he's the best at that, right? Getting ground balls, getting guys out fast, and uh, he throws a little harder than I do. But uh, you know, I I definitely uh, you know each year I'm trying to work on new things and, and, and new sequences, stuff like that, to try to strike more guys out. Uh, for me, it comes in bunches. Um, there'll be some games where I, I don't strike anybody out, and some games where I have a, a good strikeout day. So. Um, as long as we're getting a couple <laughs> every outing, I think uh, I think it ends up being all right. Look, you're coming from the West Coast, uh, grew up in Sacramento, correct? Yes. Were you an Ace fan? I was an Ace yeah. fan. Yeah. So it's uh, you can ask about Sacramento going to the A's going to Sacramento. A, a little bit about that, and also how do you feel about also being an Ace fan, and now the team is going to be leaving uh, Oakland and heading over somewhere else? Yeah, it's it's tough for especially for the Oakland fans. Um, you know, they they've lost three teams now in ten years. They lost the Warriors, uh, they lost the Raiders, and now they're losing the A's. So it's uh, I, I feel bad for them. Uh, I feel I, I definitely feel for them. Uh, I'm I was one of them. I was a Raiders fan. Uh, I am a Raiders fan. Uh, I was an A's fan. So it's it's tough. But um, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's it's kind of the nature of the, the business and. Uh, you know, I am excited for Sacramento. I grew up there, so excited for them to get an opportunity to kind of show what they can they can do. I think it's a, I mean it's the capital of California. It's not a small city uh, at all, and they got a I'm a huge Kings fan, so I I get to go to some of those games, and they got great fans, great fans in that area, uh, and I think they're going to do well. Uh, I think they're going to get good crowds. Um, you know, people love sports in Sacramento. Growing up, especially uh, an ace fan, did you have any ace pitchers that maybe you looked up to or any in, in general in the big leagues that you looked up to as you were growing up that you kind of resemble your game after them? Um, you know, I probably the easy one is Tim Hudson. You know, okay. watching Tim Hudson growing up, uh, you know, there was, there was a bunch of guys, that uh, ace pitchers that I, I loved watching. Uh, Trevor Cahill was one of them. Uh, Sonny Gray, when I was in high school, he was a guy that I, I kind of watched a lot uh, when he was with the A's. Uh, Barry Zito, obviously, is the Cy Young Award winner when he was with the A's. And, uh, so, yeah, there's, there was a bunch of guys that I really tried to, you know, I, you know study a little bit. Obviously, I, I throw different than most of those guys that I named. But, uh, but yeah, I, you know, there's a, there's a ton of guys that I can pinpoint and say, I wanted to be like them or I, I kind of... You know, Jake Peavy is a guy that I love watching compete. I think I'm somewhat similar in the yeah. competitiveness, uh, the way he he threw. And Ryan Vogelsong is another guy. Matt right. Kane. You know, I even though I was an Ace fan, I watched the Giants a lot because there was uh, you know, being in the area and there's all the Giants fans. So, uh, but yeah, it was uh, 
it was a pleasure, you know, growing up in that area and watching all these guys throw. Mark Boulder was also one of those names yep, out there yep, as well. Yep. Um, you, you touched up on Sandy's um, ability to throw the ball, right? Unfortunately, as you know, he's going through the surgery. He recovering. He's already throwing. Um, a lot has been talked about during the beginning of the season with a lot of the guys, unfortunately, going through the surgery. In your opinion, there's many factors, right? The grip of the ball, the, the pitch clog. What, what, what is your take on it, and why the reason of so many of those injuries? Um, I don't... I don't necessarily, at this point in time, I don't think you can necessarily pinpoint on anything. Uh, I, th I think as, as major league pitchers, as, as pitchers in general, you throw a lot. Um, I mean, I've been throwing a baseball since I was six years old, right? Uh, and uh, I, I've had Tommy John before. Um, you, know, I, you know, I had some mechanical things that I had to work on to get better at. And, you know, there's a, a bunch of different things. You know, I, I think, uh, like I said, it, it could be... That you're just, you know, guys are throwing harder and harder nowadays. Guys are spinning the ball more. Uh, now we're getting sped up a little bit. Uh, it, there's there's so many different things that you could possibly pinpoint, but at this time, you really don't know, right? Uh, you know, injuries have happened forever. Just this year, it's tough because it's kind of, it seems like there's, it keeps piling on, especially early in the season. So, uh, yeah, I think... It seems like they're trying to figure out something or try to figure out why it might be happening, but we'll see. Logan, to finish it off, there's a lot of kids watching at home that also watch you obviously play in the big leagues, and they would love to know some of the grips that you have on your uh, pitches. Can you show us maybe your fastball grip, your curveball changeup, any of your special pitches that you would like to show? Yeah, I got, I got a sinker here. Okay. Uh, got when, you, when you say sinker, real quick, yeah. is that kind of like a two-seam sinker? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Running inside to the yeah. righty batter? Definitely. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, you know, sometimes it has a little bit more run. Some days it has a lot of sink. So right. it's it's kind of finding the sweet spot for me. It's my arm angle and how I'm throwing it. Uh, but, yeah, that's sinker grip. I think that's how most a lot of guys throw it nowadays. Um, my changeup is right there. Kind of split these fingers. A little a traditional, traditional grip, right? Yeah, uh, circle. Uh, but I kind of split it more than some guys, I would say. Um, but between these two these two yeah okay. yeah um, and then I got my my slider grip here it's like this that's a, always a work in progress right <laughs> and then my four seam which I throw like two percent of the time but <laughs> I, I still throw it right do you, do you feel like the consistency of the ball is different between the different ones that you have during the game <laughs> that's a good that's a uh, yes uh, you know, I think, honestly, every place you go, the balls are different. Right. Um, you know, some places might be a little more dry. You know, Colorado, it's always tough. Um, you got It's in the humidor all day, and you're trying to kind of, you know, it's, it's already tough to pitch there. Uh, but it, there are certain places, you know, I think when we come to the East Coast, uh, you're sweating a little bit more. There's a little humidity out. Uh, the balls feel better. Uh, I, I mean, I pitch in San Francisco for half of my starts. Right. Uh, it's pretty cold most of the time, uh, and uh, so you kind of got to get used to it. But that's just kind of the nature of the game. I think it, a lot of it has to do with you know where you're playing uh, right. more than anything else. But yeah, it's yeah I know it's a problem you know kind of going around it right now also with with guys and uh, you know I do think as a pitcher you want to have the same ball each time, but it's tough you know these the the clubhouse guys and people working on it are trying their best to make it make it as good as they can for the guys and hopefully i get the same thing as the the stuff before hopefully they you know come maybe come to a solution uh figure out why guys are uh, getting mad about it do you, do you think if the the big leagues were to implement some sort of substance that is general for the whole league maybe not to add a spin rate but just to help you have a better grip on the ball that would be beneficial yeah you know i uh, I know in, uh, I think Japan, I don't want to be wrong by saying, I think it's Japan, they have uh, a little bit of tack on the ball, okay. so they, they put some tack on the ball to make it just, I think that may, make it a little bit more consistent, right? You guys aren't, when I mean, you watch me throw, I get sweat and touch the rosin and you're doing all this stuff and I'm sitting there, you see the blisters on my hand, I'm rubbing them up. Uh, I think that would possibly help. I know they've talked about it now for a couple of years, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I don't. I don't know if they're going to start implementing it, but uh, I think that could be something that could help. 
Logan, I got no more no more uh, for you, but just thank you for these couple of minutes and uh, wish you the best of luck, a lot of health, and success for you, you and the San Francisco Giants. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Say hi to all the people in Venezuela. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> <laughs>